Hey everyone, it's Nalani, Diabetes PA. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests recently to talk about insulin and associated weight gain. So why does it occur and how do we avoid it? So it's kind of a complicated topic, but here it goes. So studies have shown that weight gain can occur when a person with diabetes drops from an A1C above 9% down to 7% or below. So essentially going from really uncontrolled diabetes down to uh, what we consider controlled uh, blood sugar levels. And so the reason for this is, is really vast. There's a lot of different reasons that the weight can, gain can occur. Um, but a lot of it is a result of non-compliance, whether it be non-compliance initially with the high A1C or non-compliance with dietary regimen. So people with, with A1Cs above 9% often experience weight loss anyways, because the body needs insulin in order to bring glucose from the blood into the cells. So essentially this, the, this glucose is sitting in the blood and the cells are starving. The glucose in the blood is then excreted through the urine. So essentially the person uh, with the uncontrolled blood sugars is urinating out their excess sugar and their excess calories. So you can see if the calories aren't being absorbed, why the person might lose weight. So just because they're starting insulin and they're gaining weight, it doesn't mean that the insulin is causing the weight gain. What it means is that the cells are thankfully using the glucose that's available to them in the blood through the insulin that's helping transport the glucose into the cells. Um, so the thing is, once insulin is started, the glucose can be taken up and fat cells particularly like sugar. So um, the fat cells are probably gonna be the first ones to kind of grab that sugar and bring it into the cells. So the best way to avoid the weight gain is by cutting down carbs and sugar when you start insulin and instead filling up on vegetables and healthy proteins. Okay, number two reason. Um, high blood sugar levels can cause severe dehydration. So as the body's working to clear out the um, sugar in the blood, the extra sugar in the blood, it's urinate, you're urinating a lot and you're losing a lot of water. So um, once you start insulin and you're bringing, bringing glucose into the cells, the body um, kind of overcompensates for its losses by making it look like weight is being gained when really it's just water retention. Um, okay, three, high blood sugar levels can also cause hunger because as I just talked about, the cells are starving, all the glucose is sitting in the blood and the cells aren't getting any glucose for fuel. This often leads to someone with diabetes overeating or eating larger portion sizes than they, they need to. So once insulin started, it's important to remember that your body might not need as much food and so decreasing the portion sizes is gonna, gonna really help you. Um, okay, also people who start insulin often develop something that I call defensive hunger while on insulin. Um, basically, when someone's used to having high blood sugars all the time, they might feel low at normal blood sugar levels. And this will um, change with time, your body will readjust, but um, it can cause people who start insulin to have an increase, increase in their appetite and eat more. Um, so like I said, this will go away, uh, but you kind of just have to wait it out and it's really hard for people oftentimes. Um, Okay, also when an actual low blood sugar occurs, meaning less than 80, you have to eat calories and glucose to bring it up. So it's really important to be working tightly with your clinician to be adjusting your insulin so that you don't have to have too many lows and then have to eat a bunch of extra calories to keep your blood sugar stable. Um, okay. So as I mentioned, with proper coaching, exercise, and dietary regimen, weight gain can be avoided um, when using insulin. I also would like to really stress what's important here, and it's not the weight gain. Um, of course, no one likes to gain weight, but taking an appropriate amount of insulin is essential to good health with diabetes. Um, in fact, the DCCT trial showed that even with associated weight 
associated weight gain, type 1 diabetics significantly decrease their cardiovascular risk when taking their insulin appropriately. So withholding insulin for weight gain purposes is a really serious eating disorder, and you should be talking to your clinician if that's something that you're doing or thinking about doing. Um, we need to stop thinking of, of insulin as being optional um, and, and taking control of our health. So I hope you guys learned something and I hope this helps. So just let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.